This is Naik and I'm Kim. We spent the last few years traveling the world together before 2020 brought us back to Europe where we are now traveling in a self-converted camper van. We are currently enjoying winter van life in Switzerland where we've been exploring the incredible Swiss Alps. Although we've seen our fair share of dramatic snow-capped mountains over the past few weeks, today we are taking winter road trips to a new level, literally. The point of today is to drive through some super scenic mountain passes in this area, actually right between where we are now and the border with Italy. <laughs> I'm showering. Kim's taking a shower. I'm making some coffee here. I'm gonna have a slightly relaxed morning before we go. Boom! The mountains. What in the world are you doing? Toasting bread? What are you doing? You can just tell <laughs> this will go wrong. Why can you not tell? <laughs> ah, <laughs> First time we get to use these. Super, super excited to finally have chairs. Oh yeah. I can get used to this. Ooh, I could get take this one. I yep. could get used to this. What are we having? Having some mm. avocado on toast. Even with some, some fruit in there. Yeah. Ooh, there's even pumpkin seeds on there. You went all out, didn't you? Just cooked up a little breakfast. I mean, it doesn't take too much time to cut two pieces of bread, fry some eggs, and then cut a piece of avocado. Good. Jim like. Hmm. <laughs> These chairs, they're a godsend gift. Not, mm. not a gift paid for ourselves, but. Ready to go. We're now. Oh, wasn't as ready as I thought. We're now going to. Driving to the Julier Pass, it's 2,284 meters, one of the higher mountain passes here. One we're gonna do after that is actually even higher. It's the highest one uh, in Switzerland, at least the highest one that's open during winter time. It's about a one hour drive from here to the first pass. So it's not too far. That's a really nice thing about Switzerland. Everything's pretty close by. Oh, seatbelt. So the internet tells me that Chur is located at an elevation of almost 600 meters, which means that we're gonna be going up almost 2,000 meters by the time we get to the highest pass in Switzerland. We've actually been waiting for a few days now to be able to do this trip and drive to those mountain passes because the weather has been, ee, well, the weather here has been awesome. I mean, it's been sunny pretty much all the time, but up there it's a lot higher, obviously, and a lot, a lot colder, snowy, and we wanna at least see the views when we go to one of those cool mountain passes. So we're gonna do it today because this is supposed to be the best day of the week with the sunniest, brightest, clearest weather at those high altitudes. drawer opening and then the bucket underneath the sink also I've gone on a little expedition here we're very slow learners when it comes to this stuff because it's not the first time this has happened here in the mountains five bucks says Nick is gonna come back from that top shop or whatever it's called with some snacks see that he's holding something in his hand that is why I love him. What you got there? Nothing. I knew you would bring something. I was just saying that. An Oreo donut. Yeah, it looks so good. You still have some egg in your beard from when we were having the avocado toast. Quite a bit, actually. Your beard's all orangey. I'm just saving that for lunch. Wow, would you look at that.
It's already starting to get a little bit steeper here. The engine is not super strong. It's a two liter engine for a vehicle weighs over probably already three and a half tons roughly. It requires me to shift a bit more in the gears. The average consumption going up is about 30 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. <laughs> I always tend to think that this does not do it justice. It does not look steep on camera at all. Yeah, but it is actually quite steep, a lot steeper than it looks on camera. Oh, incredible. This is it, guys. Look at this. You can see up there, that's the pass. Look at those roads. You can see them going left and right and left. Look at this, it's amazing. Quite a lot of people on the road though. Yeah, it's super busy. But the views here? Never seen anything like this mountain pass in my life. And in winter with all the snow, super, super epic. Just look at this. I prefer to do this with a small sports vehicle though. Something like small, light, lightweight, very mobile, like a Porsche or something. Like really this? Nice. Something like this? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see those trucks and the lines of people behind them? Yeah, it must not be easy driving a truck up and down these paths, especially down as well. By the way, if anyone's wondering why I'm wearing my jacket, who do you think makes these drone shots outside while Nike's driving? So yo! And you're driving it like a pro. I think after a while, you know, all the practice, start to learn from your mistakes. This is the second bit of the pass coming up right here, you see? I mean, this is still this is still very reasonable. He could see that no one was coming, but they do it regardless of whether they can see that no one else is coming. just reached the highest point of 2,284 meters. It was only like a small bump. And from here, it's all going downhill. But how cool is that? We oh. drove our van on top of this. I mean, on this. <laughs> now passing by San Moritz here. It's one of the most famous uh, ski resorts here in Switzerland and is also considered one of the most expensive places in Switzerland. Can you imagine a country like Switzerland being expensive and then one place being considered expensive for Switzerland even? Yeah. Don't even want to think about it. I read that a lot of people arrive here by helicopter. There's like tons of Michelin starred restaurants where you can eat. Super glitzy. It's yeah. for the rich and famous, like literally the rich and famous come here. Yeah. The big downside here is that once you cross the Juliet Pass, you're not allowed to camp overnight there anywhere, not even on the Juliet Pass, not in this whole region, because they made a law that's illegal to do here. Yeah, because the rich people don't want plebs around. No, I mean, probably have your reasons for it, but yeah, it's not so easy then to come here with a van, so we're gonna drive to the Bernina Pass where a red should be allowed. That's actually the highest one here in Switzerland. Uh, that's open during winter time. Quickly changing drivers here. Kim's going to take over for uh, going up the Bernina Pass. How are we feeling about this? I'd be lying if I said I was confident. Wait, wait I still need to put on my seatbelt though. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Can I put on two seatbelts? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Getting to some real hairpin turns here. turn out that I'm quite a trendsetter. Slow driving through the mountains, I think that's the responsible way to do it. Uh, and if you look behind us, there's a slew of uh, cars with Swiss and German license plates behind me, probably going like, oh nein, das ist nicht gut, das ist sehr langsam. Schneller. Schneller, schneller Fraulein, schneller. Ah, die Belgen, nein. German is horrible, but that's what they're saying, I'm sure. <laughs> it's actually fun downhill. Ah, jawohl, meine Freunde. Tschüss. Oh, Kim. Do you see how I had yeah, to... That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you need to drive off the road. I'm not driving off the road. I was just going to the side a little bit. Please, Mother of God, have mercy on me. Almost took a dive off the mountain I just to let not. somebody You're pass. You're being and... super dramatic. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't a smart move. It wasn't necessary to go all the way to that side. There was plenty of place for them to go. Whew made it across the passes today. We're now here at the Lago Oceavo. Alright, it's considerably chiller. Yeah. Chillier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, little bit more chilly. Super rare Swiss trash can. Got some of these sunset colors already coming into the sky. gonna take this party inside because it gets pretty windy not so comfortable and the gas fire isn't really working super well to be able to make a full meal on it now Since it is going to be properly freezing up here tonight again, we are again going to drain our complete water system. It's gonna get the draining hose out of the tank and then when we hit the pump it's gonna suck in air. Yeah. Like this for the shower, you have to do the same, but this I feel is not gonna end well. Close it? Yep. Time to head off to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna drive back over the mountain passes, but we'll see you in the next video where we'll be visiting a completely different part of Switzerland. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more of our van life adventures, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.